there, my stamping friends. It's Jackie Ball Hayes from Clomp and Stampers. Today, I am going to feature a stamp set that is in the new January to June 2022, that's still hard to say, mini catalog called Amazing Silhouettes. This set is perfect for masculine cards and anything, but I know everybody struggles with masculine cards and there's a couple of great images in here. Plus, I kind of like that it doesn't have any greetings with it because then you can combine anything that you want with it. So I'm gonna give you some tips for stamping with this stamp set. And as always, my videos have lots of little tips along the way that'll just help you with all your stamping. So make sure you listen really closely to pick up on some of those little tips I share along the way. Now, if you like quick and easy cards, make sure you subscribe to my email newsletter every single Friday, unless I'm off a little bit, but I send out an email newsletter that is jam-packed with stamping inspiration. Now, usually there's two downloadable tutorials in there that will show you great projects along with all the supplies and cutting measurements and step-by-step -step tutorials, as well as sometimes some surprises. And then I always like to make sure you stay updated on everything happening at Stampin' Up! and with the Clomp and Stampers, because we got some really cool events that I'd love to have you participate in as well. So that email list, you can subscribe to it by just hopping over to my website, clompandstampers.com, and make sure you click on join my email newsletter. And when you do, you also get a free tutorial just for subscribing. Now, speaking of mini catalog, it's January, 2022. We have that brand new mini catalog that just came out. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored and I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Again, hop over to the website, clompandstampers.com, and over there you can request catalogs, the, stamp, the current Stampin' Up! catalogs if you don't already have them or have a demonstrator. Now, I think that's enough chit chat. We need to dive into this fun project we're gonna make with this new stamp set called Amazing Silhouettes and share lots of quick and easy stamping tips. Hang on, let's flip the camera down and get to work. Here's a peek at this stamp set. Now it only has three images and this is kind of, I like to call it like a faux watercolor look. You know, we see all of these projects that people make with watercolor and sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out exactly how to do it. So this one, the stamp does all the work for you. So we're gonna start with our stamping part and then I'm gonna give you some tips for putting our card together. Now I have a piece of basic white, and I don't know, what is this? Four and a half by three, I believe. Now over on my website, there will be a blog post that will go with this video and that will have pictures of my project, the list of supplies, as well as all the measurements. So if you'd like to make this card, you can easily get all that information over there. So our first tip of the day, do you ever struggle opening the Stampin' Up! ink pads. Now this is the newest style that they have, but I have, it's kind of a compact, you know, they tell you to open them this way. I struggle with that. So I found that if I hold it, both hands, thumb on top, and I just pinch back here at the back, whoo, there we go. <laughs> it was kind of hard. I'm at a weird angle here, but if you pinch there, it generally pops it open for you and then you can flip it and slide it. So that's how we do that. Now, we're gonna use the tree image, which is a pretty big stamp on here. This might be a great one to use with your Stamparatus if you have a hard time with larger blocks. But because it's so big, I always like to ink them upside down. So we're gonna ink this up. Now the other thing I do all the time when I'm stamping is I always have grid paper underneath or scrap paper. And when I grab a stamp that I'm gonna use, you know, on a new project here, I always ink it and I stamp it on my scrap paper first because that lets me know, did I ink it good? Do I kind of have the feel for that stamp? Is my ink pad too wet, too dry? Um, it's kind of like my little test. And I think that looks really good. So now we're going to just go ahead and repeat exactly what we did. You know, you'd even think after all these years of stamping, I wouldn't like doubt myself, but I always do. So I always like that scrap paper first. And then we're going to take our image and we're gonna kind of go over to the left a little bit, let it come off the bottom and make sure everything stays on the top. That's kind of how I wanted this card to look. Pretty big stamp, so give it some good pressure and pick it up. Ooh, that's stamped perfect. I am happy with that. So it gives you kind of the appearance of that tree being maybe embossed and your watercolor going around it. But it just makes a really nice kind of soft image. And like I said, great for a masculine card. 
Now, I want to add a little bit of texture to it, almost make it look like watercolor paper. So we are going to use the Tasteful, Text Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder and stick it in here. This does kind of have a up and down pattern, so when I put it in there, I like to make it straight on that line and pinch it in there. Now remember, with 3D embossing folders, if you're using the Stampin' Cut machine or even the older Big Shot, what you want the platform, okay, just the regular platform, and then you're going to lay that down and then use the specialty plate, and I guess it's number four. Um, if you have the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, this all comes with it. If you're still working with a Big Shot and you struggle sometimes, you because I get questions all the time, my 3D folders won't fit in my Big Shot or what's my sandwich? You really need the specialty plate and the one, and you can use this one in your Big Shot as well. So Big Shot platform along with the specialty plate. We're gonna stack that up and I'm gonna go run it through the machine and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what we have here. We'll take those pieces off and you'll see how this just added a little bit of texture. I think it looks a lot like watercolor paper. That's why when I was playing around, I thought, that was a good look for that stamp set. Now, we are going to make our card using note cards and envelopes. You see me use these a lot in my projects. They are, they come in a pack like this with 20 in them. So the nice thing is you get your card and your envelope. You can stamp right on here and leave it, or like in this case, we are going to layer it. And I have a piece of early espresso that we're gonna end up layering this on and onto here. here. But before I do that, I first want to bring in a piece of scrap paper, scrap basic white here, and my early espresso pad, and I have the thank you out of Peaceful Moments. This is one of my go-to, uh, I guess, greeting sets for whenever I, you know, need a basic thank you, happy birthday, congratulations, um, and so I just stamped it on my scrap paper, and then I'm going to use the tailored tag punch, one of my favorite for greetings. You'll see there's that. Now we could just put it on there, but it kind of gets lost. So before we stick this together, this is kind of a paper saving hack for you. I am going to take the same punch, actually let's go this way, get more in the middle, and I'm gonna just punch out of the middle of this piece. Now you're not gonna see that because we're gonna end up layering like so. And then with this one, we can just take our scissors here, Cut it in half. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight or perfectly in the middle. So that's why I just grabbed the scissors. Then we're gonna take our adhesive and I'm gonna put just a tiny bit. Don't put too much, but right along one side. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but make sure you put it on the punch piece. And then I will go ahead and line it up there to get a nice little border along the bottom. And then we'll flip it over and we'll do the exact same thing. A Little bit of adhesive on that edge and use the other half of that punched piece. We'll go ahead and line that up like so. And now it stands out a little bit, so it's ready to add onto our card. So let's start by adding some adhesive here. Now I'm not adding it in the middle because it's gonna go right through to that scrap paper, but that's okay. So now you can see we don't even see where we punched out that hole and we saved some paper without having to get another scrap for that colored punch piece that we're using. And then we're going to take this and we'll add adhesive because we're gonna stick it onto our note card like so. Now when I finish up this one, I do have two other ones to share with you. So you'll see all a card made with all three of the stamps in the stamp set. So there's that. And then we are going to take our dimensionals because you know, Jackie, we always need dimensionals on everything. Pop those off and then we're gonna stick this and let it just come off the edge a little, you know, almost to the edge of the cardstock there just to add a little bit more um, character along the side there. So there is our card. It was very quick and easy and it would be perfect to give to, like for a masculine card for that favorite guy in your life because, you know, we all struggle with those. So here was my first one and you can see on this one, I also stamped one of the greetings from that Peaceful Moments on the inside. That set's got some good coordinating inside outside. So that's why I like to grab it. So there is that one. And then I did play around and I made two others here using the two other images. Remember there's this, I don't know what we would call it, flower spray? I don't know, branch, um, and then the butterfly. 
So here is this one and pretty much did the exact same thing, except I cut my layers a little bit smaller because that image was much smaller. Um, but again, thinking of you with all my heart, that is from that stamp set with the inside verse as well. Now remember, I'll have all these cutting dimensions, the names of the colors and everything over on that blog post, linked down in that video description. And then here's the butterfly one. Um, this time, instead of popping up our greeting, I went ahead and stamped on here. Make sure you do any stamping before you emboss a stamp piece because otherwise it's not gonna stamp good on there. And then I just went ahead and I used my butterfly dies and cut out a butterfly to add on there along with the, the little rhinestone and our greeting on the inside. So there you go, three quick and easy cards all using amazing silhouettes. I hope you enjoyed today's project and picked up lots of stamping tips along the way. Don't forget the link will be in the video description to take you to the blog post where you'll see all the supplies, colors, cutting measurements, pictures of the cards, and all the details. And that way, if you'd like to order anything and you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, there's all the buttons that click on there to place your Stampin' Up! order as well. Now, when you do that, don't forget to use my host code. I have a frequent shoppers program. And when you shop with me, use the host code, you can earn points towards a free stamp set. And we all love free stamp sets, right? So thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my video so that you're you always get noticed when I am doing one and share my channel with your crafting friends. I truly appreciate it when you spread the joy by sharing it. Leave me a comment as well. I love to hear from you. So until we stamp again, have a stamp happy day.